Good morning, guys. Happy Vlogmas Day. Technically, two. You guys will see this. I already explained how I'm doing Vlogmas this year, so I'm not gonna get into it again. And I know I sound like death right now because you have not seen my birthday haul or the video I posted yesterday. I am still sick. Whatever I got Thanksgiving night, I got better over the weekend, and then Monday, Tuesday has been awful. Well, Monday I feel like was more so awful than Tuesday. I've got this lovely cough now. I'm very congested. It's a great time. And here's David Donald over here laying down his hand i can't happy vlogmas guys i'm sorry i look and sound like absolute sh we're gonna have a good vlogmas i'm very excited about it another news let's look at what oh wait we can't even see oh there he is we can see what uh scott haney is wearing today look at his suit his little christmasy suit i literally can't we're doing hometown scramble <laughs> that's what's on our local news every morning this is what we look forward to i haven't worn makeup all week i have been just like miserable and everyone's like oh my god stay home stay home my co-worker is like sam why don't you call out call out just call out and i'm like because i don't feel that bad yet once i feel like the worst i ever feel that i will call out but i decided if this does not get better by the end of the week then i am gonna go to the walk-in and we're gonna see what is going on with because this is absolutely ridiculous but i've been just drinking all the tea trying to not have anything with milk in it as i'm drinking coffee that i end up dumping when i get to work anyway <laughs> So you don't drink what I put in the cup for the thing that's dumping it out. Well, I drink a little bit of it, but I don't drink the whole thing because it's got milk in it and it's going to aggravate my sickness, babe. Sorry, I'll tell you to not make me coffee the rest of the week, all right? No, it's it's not fine. Also, I'm just going to say for the record, the whole thing of like, if you're sick, stay home is complete and utter and let me tell you why. Because you guys know I've talked about in my videos that my work in Connecticut and a lot of states around in the country, I'm assuming, are experiencing such staffing shortages, among other things, that literally pulling teeth. So I feel like if I call out, like I feel like I can't call out, except that time last month I did because David had a seizure. I feel like genuinely I cannot call out because we're so short staffed. So I have to go to work like this again for the rest of the week because I feel like death, which is so f fun and i'm sure a lot of you guys probably feel the same way too or even you if if you're lucky and have a manager that's an asshole they'll fucking like berate you and like do whatever they gotta do to still make you come into work which i think is absolutely ridiculous so go to work today and then later on tonight we're gonna possibly get panera and cry cry I'll edit and upload this for Hi you guys. guys, I forgot it's Vlogmas. So hi. Um, I sound like death. I actually just, just went to the walk-in. They made me get a PCR COVID test because I have symptoms apparently that align with COVID. Basically, I can't go back to work now until I get my results. My boss is gonna flip her shit because we're already short-staffed and freaking out. Love life. Love that for me right now. Love that for me. Update. Yeah. So, uh, I've never gotten the PCR test before. I've only done the rapids and I'm still wearing my mask, but at least I can stay home tomorrow because I called out. Why? Why does this have to happen to me? And I really wasn't going to get the COVID test to be honest, because I was just like, I really like not to be irresponsible, but just because I'm like, I really don't want to no, like I really don't want to know, but it was a good idea to do it just just cause anyway. It sucked. I understand now that PCR like if if burned. The lady's like she was so nice. She's like it just feels like you get water in your nose, and I'm like no, this just fucking burns. Like it just burns, but yay. I here's to crossing our fingers that Sam does not get COVID again. Have I low key been manifesting that? I hope not, cause I don't want COVID again. That was an awful awful time for all of us. Um, I really hope it's just bronchitis though. Here's to hoping we get a negative result because I don't want fucking COVID again. That's not even fair! Why? I don't do anything. I don't go anywhere. I don't party. Okay, well anyways, I'm not even gonna like bring that negativity. So I, I apologize. I have not really vlogged all day and like you out from like morning to night. But after this, David and I are gonna get food and then we're gonna get home to the bunny. The bun, 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 bun. Who else is gonna kill me? But then again, this is this morning, like I said, the whole thing of stay home if you're sick is since there's shortages in the world, like I said earlier, but like, no, seriously, really is. And I know she's gonna be flipping out. If I just not had gone at all, I could have just avoided this, but I feel so bad. 
and it's been like a week now i've been sick so let's see what my boss and my uh co-workers said because i texted them and let them all know what's going on hi <coughs> so update a positive no i don't have to go to work tomorrow i feel like shit so i can actually mm. rest oh david's here we're in the burger king drive through getting burger king because that's what you should eat when you're sick I really like I, if you saw my Instagram story just now you would know like literally like life's so fun life's so fun everyone's freaking out the world is ending my work might just like cry I'm not gonna say what I want to say the fact that my boss said that my, the girl I work with might have to be by herself with eight kids like it's horrifying because we have no subs we have nobody like literally nobody you guys like I'm freaking out and I sound like this so we just ordered we're getting our food it's Thank almost you. 6 30 and we're gonna go home feed the bun have a good one have a good night. You thank too. you you too literally my brain just like doesn't respond when people say something to me and it takes me like a few seconds is that getting old now are you kidding me give me ah, ah, yeah what the fuck are you doing i'm gonna fry too oh my god hot no no really i thought it was cold all my little prescriptions i have an inhaler for if it's like gets hard to breathe and i have a medication for something and then i have an antibiotic but i'm not supposed to take the antibiotic until i negative hi guys so not much has happened <laughs> since we got home we ended up banishing gooby to the bedroom because sometimes she gets fresh when we're not home in time to feed her you want to come out bun She's just chilling on the bed. Oh, by the way, we got a new fun thermostat, which, yes, in case you're wondering when we move, we're taking it with us because I bought this for David as an early Christmas present. I don't know why. She cried. Oh, what's wrong? I really like this, too, because, like, I mean, I'm not going to show you guys, like, my location, but it gives you, like, the full weather for the week and the current temperature right now. It's snazzy. You can control it from my phone and with the Google. Phone bun bun. The bunny. Bunny, can you say hi to the vlog? She's like, no, you lock me in the bedroom for an hour. This is really random, but the lady that lives or lived next door to us over here, she fosters dogs and whatever. She actually officially moved out at the beginning of this week. And it's so quiet because I'm so used to her like constantly taking the dogs out. There's nothing and I'm like low-key really sad. Like I kind of miss them. It's also been kind of quiet nice and quiet oh my dishes are a mess okay we're gonna normalize this for a minute this is called depression slash lazy slash like i work 40 hours a week and sometimes i just don't want to do the dishes and i feel like there's a lot of vloggers on youtube they're like well look at my perfect little life and my perfect family like let's normalize leaving the fritos on the counter and not doing dishes for like a few days. If I feel better tomorrow, since I'm home tomorrow, I will do them, but hope you guys enjoyed today's brief vlogmas. Hopefully tomorrow's more exciting. I apologize. Uh, it's like every year I'm just gonna get sick during vlogmas. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you tomorrow for vlogmas day three. <laughs> love you guys, bye.